Well, greetings, viewers, voyeurs. How you doing? Earth got that funk. You know, over the years, pretty much since I started making videos on my channel in 2009, uh, many of my viewers, both subscribers and sort of wanderers, have uh, labeled me as being very politically correct in my viewpoints, which is something I've always found kind of amusing because I certainly don't see myself that way. And I'll give you a few examples in a moment because I just have to make sort of one acknowledgement or disclaimer, and that's this. I mean, I am aware, you know, that I try to look at both sides of issues and you know, I try my best not to unnecessarily offend people, especially with video responses and so on. Um, but I call that being tactful. I don't necessarily call that being politically correct. From my point of view, politically correct, the word political is in there and for a reason. And that's because it's about your viewpoints on certain social issues and your viewpoint is meant to be as deferential to as many people as possible if it's politically correct. You're, you know, you're politically correct by my understanding is that you're trying as hard as you can to take a position which as f offends as few people as possible uh, but still has some appeal to the uh, to the majority so with that sort of in mind about my impression of political correctness uh, I don't see myself as fitting into that sort of paradigm I'll give you a few examples of positions that I hold and I would like you to tell me first of all do you think I'm politically correct is that is that how you one way that you would describe me if you were sort of talking about me uh, when recommending my channel to someone to watch either in a good way or a bad way um, you know would you say oh yeah that guy's really politically correct I'm just curious about that because let me just tell you a few of my viewpoints and tell me if you think these viewpoints are or are not politically correct um, and let's go from there first of all I, I, the most obvious one that I can think of and it's well rehearsed here on my channel is that I am against capital punishment in all circumstances for any crime no matter how heinous even serial murder or terrorism or treason I don't think there's any excuse for the state taking the life of its citizens so there's a lot more reasons that I object to uh, capital punishment uh, but it's in a opinion that's evolved over the years. I mean, when I was a kid, I was for it, then I was against it for a while, then I was for it again, and I've come back to being against it. So I have sort of changed my mind many times throughout my 53 years on this planet. But I've been against capital punishment now for about 20 years, and I don't think it's ever going to change from now on. I think I've pretty much convinced myself it's the correct ethical, moral approach to dealing with serious crimes. You don't take someone's life for any for any crime that's just my opinion anyway so there's that is that politically correct or not I don't know another thing is I am absolutely for the legalization of all drugs I've said this in previous videos but that was a long time ago I'm sure not many of you were subscribed to me back then but uh, there's a video way on in the early days of my channel where I talked about how all drugs should be legal and it's an opinion that I haven't really changed and it's one that I get a lot of disagreement with when I talk to uh, friends in person about it you know a lot of people will come back with you and say something like well, some drugs are just too dangerous to be legal yeah and they're illegal and people obtain them anyway this is my point of view uh, the dangerousness of the drug doesn't stop people from obtaining it if they want to making something illegal where there is a strong market for contraband you can't really prevent it from getting into the market so I don't really think that uh, criminalizing drugs is the right approach to dealing with problems that emanate from drug use I think the problems that emanate from drug use are more health related and uh, psychologically related in some cases and it's those areas that we should focus on and we should also focus on education as well so I you know from my point of view yeah all drugs should be legal their distribution should be regulated in various ways and other laws which pertain to safety would have to be considered as well but I personally think that they should be legal is that politically correct I doubt it I don't think very many people think that um, I am pro-choice when it comes to the issue of abortion I know from my point of view that's the sensible position and the ethical position I know there are strong feelings on the other side of the argument though and I'm not sure which side of the argument sees itself as being politically correct and sees the other side as being politically incorrect um, I'm sure obviously both think they are 
politically correct. So, yeah, I, I, I just don't, uh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's the one that's a bad example. Um, economically, I've got opinions that I'm sure not very many people agree with. I am sort of, I lean towards a more socialist model of uh, societies, regulation of industry than currently exists. Um, you know, I am very much for the public ownership of certain industries, uh, namely banking, uh, energy production and distribution, and water distribution. I think those should all be owned by the public, and uh, what uh, small gains are made from the discrepancy between running costs and billing costs, any sort of what wouldn't normally be called profit would just be put back into the system to improve uh, infrastructure and maintain uh, you know everything so I, I'm very much for public ownership of certain industries banking I think uh, we have seen that uh, too big to fail is too big to allow and so we need to bring it back down to a more local level and that means for me public ownership would be a, a very efficient way of doing that um, because then local people could run their local areas of it and so on and so on and so on so it doesn't have to be the way it is you know we let it be the way it is. Uh, and I know these types of views aren't exactly mainstream by a long way. I think even Bernie Sanders would have a few problems with what I propose there, but that's just the way I feel. Um, so yeah, I think healthcare should be free and, and, and publicly owned as well. I think there's absolute free in the sense that you don't pay when you go in. Uh, obviously we would pay through it for pay for it through taxation. Fine. And speaking of taxation, I, I've been on videos recently saying on the Breakfast Club channel that I believe that we should bring back the 90% maximum tax rate, um, raise the threshold from what it used to be back in the 50s, which I think was around 400 grand. I think you could raise that quite significantly and people could still be fabulously wealthy. Um, but 90% tax is almost the same thing as having a maximum wage. And I would support a maximum wage, but if that's philosophically untenable to most people, well, I'd, I'd, I'd compromise on 90% because 90% above a certain threshold uh, means people still could get richer and richer and richer, but uh, at the same time they would be paying lots, 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 lots more and it would the, the rate at which they could get richer would be very much, very difficult to sustain for any length of time. It would have to top out, you know, the market would top it out at some point. And, uh, and that, to me that's the issue, you know, there are ways in which we could limit some of the problems with income disparity and so forth and 90% taxes or a maximum wage as well as raising the minimum wage I think are very good ideas and I think those aren't necessarily considered to be politically correct ideas. Um, so what else can I say um, social issue wise? I've always been um, for equal rights for all people. I think hopefully that is politically correct now uh, so if that's part of what people mean when they've perceived that about me, I suppose that's fair enough. But yeah, I, I, I don't think we should really distinguish between uh, how people identify themselves or what their ethnicity is or their age or their gender or sex, whatever. I don't, I don't think it matters. You know, I, I think we should all be 100% equal before the law and entitled to uh, the same opportunities and the same level of basic human dignity. So yeah, um, when it comes to issues of social justice, uh, I think the term social justice warrior has been twisted around to a pejorative sense for many, many people. But when it comes to the concepts of social justice as I identify them, I'm absolutely an advocate for social justice. Because for me, social justice means an end to poverty. Social justice means uh, the availability of health care. Social justice means wealth redistribution so that there's not such a huge gap between the poorest and the most wealthy in a country. Um, there's nothing wrong with being affluent. There's nothing wrong with getting rich. There's nothing wrong with making a fortune. Uh, but I think we have seen that if you let too few people get too, too rich, uh, it, everybody else suffers as a result. Uh, I think that's self-evident by this point and we need to redress that situation urgently for the good of the many at the expense of the few. Anyway, um, so I think that's it. I, as other social justice issues, um, I, I, don't really, I don't really have too many opinions about. Uh, you know, I share an awful lot of points of view with people who 
identify as feminist, for example, but I wouldn't call myself a feminist because from my point of view, uh, to, to want to wear the label of feminist means you need to be some sort of an activist in that regard, and I don't qualify for that. Um, but, but certainly I believe in equal rights for all people, and where those uh, beliefs coincide with feminism, I'm quite happy to agree with feminists on those issues. And I don't think anybody should be reticent to do so just because the person they're debating with or whatever uh, does identify as a feminist. I think the uh, toxicity of that particular word and issue on YouTube in particular and the internet in general is really unfortunate. But uh, uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't call myself a feminist because it's not something I see myself as being particularly much of an activist in. So there you go. Um, what do you think? Am I politically correct or not? Uh, if, if this video has changed your mind from your initial answer, let me know. Um, either way, and I look forward to whatever you've got to say down in the comment section. A video response would be equally welcome. So thanks for watching, and until next time, may the funk be with you, always.